My name's Joss Hurst. I'm a lecturer in audio technology here at the University of Salford and we're here at the Anechoic Chambers. There are two main important attributes to the Anechoic Chamber. One is that it's very, very quiet. It's also, as the name suggests, anechoic. So that's what all these wedges are for inside the chamber. They're for stopping sound bouncing around the room. So when we produce a sound in the anechoic chamber, it hits the wedges and stops. It doesn't reflect back. So that means anechoic without echoes. When people visit the anechoic chamber, they, the usual reaction is one of, wow, I've not seen anywhere like this before. And it's not surprising, because once we close the doors here, we're blocking out all other sounds and we're inducing the anechoicness of the room. So yes, people find it very, um, very unnatural. So people usually, yeah, usually their, their jaws drop to some extent and they'll look around the room going, well, that's the usual reaction. Some people do find it very relaxing and, you know, like to stay in the room with the lights out and maybe lie on the uh, trampoline floor and, uh, and, uh, and, yeah, enjoy perfect silence, yes. I think having a quiet place to, to recharge your batteries, yeah, is quite important, important, yes. But I don't think everybody needs an anechoic chamber in which to do it, though. Well, I do, I make a lot of noise, right, so I'm a musician, but I think I'm, if I'm by myself, I do prefer a quiet environment, I think, you know, like sitting down in a, in a library or whatever. I think sometimes you don't have any choice about whether you're surrounded by noise. <laughs> 